Here we are in section two review. So the review exercises one of chapter two with solutions 10 through 19. Number 10, I've created a triangular garden. So we better have a triangle here. Such that the largest side, L, let's write that in one particular color, L is going to be six meters less than twice the smallest. So that's six meters subtracted from twice the smallest. And the medium side, medium side right here is going to be 15 larger than the smallest side, larger than the smallest side. And of course, we've got the smallest side over here. It says if the total perimeter of the garden is 105, so perimeter is going to be 105 meters. Um, what are the lengths of the sides? So the perimeter of this triangle, it's just a triangle. There's not a special formula. It's just all the sides added together. The small plus the medium plus the large plus the medium and then uh, plus the large. Let's put everything in we know. All right, so here we have 105 goes in for the perimeter equals the small uh, plus the medium. Now we can substitute that guy right in there and we get plus 15 plus the smallest. And then with the largest side, we're gonna add to that 2s minus six. So here's the small side plus the medium side plus the large side. And look at that, we just made an equation. We can solve this guy. Well, we can simplify it first. 105 is going to equal, this is s, 2s, 3, 4s, let me see, plus 15 and a minus 6, that's a plus 9. Okay, subtract 9 from both sides, we get 96 equals 4s, and then divide both sides by 4, and we get s is 24. So s is 24 meters. All right, good. So if we take this 24 meters and we put it back up here, 24 meters right there, then the medium side is going to be 15 plus 24 is 39. So the medium is 39 meters. And the long side, again, we're going to put that 24 right in there for the S. So 2 times 24 is going to be 48 minus 6. 48 minus uh, 6 is 42. So the large side is 42. Uh, if everything is true in the world, then this right here should add up to 105 meters for the whole perimeter. 24 plus 39, that's 63, plus 42 is 105. Yeah, right on, it worked. All right, number 11, if a parallelogram, so draw the shape, parallelogram looks like that, uh, has an area so area is going to be 158.9 centimeters squared. That tells us good. They're using the right units for area. And a base, so the, the bottom side right here is 23.2 centimeters. Good. Uh, how tall is it? So the height of there. Now the formula for this is area equals base times height. So if we plug that stuff in, we have 158.9 equals 23.2 times h, right? Base times height. And it's just like a rectangle, except we don't use the side of the parallelogram. We just use its height. Well, that means we, oh, this is nice. This is an equation, only has one step. Divide both sides by 23.2, and the h will be by itself. So h equals... Uh, pull out our calculator and go ahead and do 158.9 divided by 23.2. And that gives us 6.85. 6.85. And what are we in? Centimeter, meters, centimeters. We're in centimeters and this is a height. So this would just be in centimeters. Excellent. Number 12. We have a triangle again. Good triangle. And it says the angles... Uh, one of them is g minus 3, the other one's 2g plus 8, 2g plus 8 right up there, and 3g minus 17. Uh, and we're supposed to solve for g. What do the angles do? 
in a triangle. Notice the perimeter of a triangle just adds up. The angles, they add up to a certain number. If you've forgotten that formula, it's that they add up to 180. So our equation is that we have g minus 3 plus 2g plus 8 plus 3g minus 17 have to equal 180 degrees. So very similar to number 10, but we already have all three angles in terms of g. So it says solve for g and then find the measures of the angles. All right. Uh, oh, we can simplify this. g plus 2g plus 3g, that's 6g, a negative 3, and a positive 8, that's positive 5 minus 17 is negative 12, equals 180. Can we solve for that? Yeah, add 12 to both sides, and we get 6g equals 192. Divide by 6, divide by 6, and g equals 32. All right, so g is 32, but that doesn't actually tell us each of these. It says one angle is g minus 3. So if we stick a 32 in uh, for the first one, the angles then are uh, 32 minus 3, that's 29 degrees. 2 times 32 is 64, plus 8. Uh, 64 plus 8 is 72 degrees, and then 3 times 32, 3g, that's 96, minus 17, uh, 79, I believe. And those are the three angles. Great. All right, next problem, number 13. Solve these. So 7p minus 12 equals 12 plus 7p, or 7p plus 12 equals 12 plus 7p. Try to get these two p's together. Subtract 7p from both sides of the equation, and shazam, gone. We get 12 equals 12. This always is true, no matter what p is. So in this case, p is all numbers. That's what happens when you get an always true statement. Number 14. 9n plus 48 uh, is equal to 7n minus 2 n minus 2, let's get rid of the parentheses by jumping that through. 9n plus 48 equals 7n minus 2n plus 4. This is 5n, so we get 9n plus 48 equals 5n plus 4. Um, subtract, we got to get those n's together. Subtract 5n to both sides, and we now have 4n plus 48 equals 4. Subtract 48, 4n equals minus 44, n equals negative 11 when we divide both sides by 4. Okay, number 15. 7x plus 18 equals 9 times x minus 3. Jump the 9 in. 7x plus 18 equals 9x minus 27. We have multiple x's, so we've got to get the x's together. Subtract 7x, subtract 7x, and we get 18 equals 2x minus 27. Add 27 to both sides, and we get 45 equals 2x. Divide by 2, and we get x equals 45 halves, or 22 and a half. Good. Number 16. Rick has taken force tests. His scores are 83, 92, 94, and 85. What does he need to get on his fifth test? So this is our variable. Uh, call it big T like that. To be an, for his average to be 90. So now notice we have five tests. We have 83 plus 92 plus 94 plus 85 plus T all divided by 5. This is how we compute averages to equal 90. Great times by 5. Oh, we can simplify this up here. So 83 plus 92 plus 85 plus 94. Let's do that on the calculator, make sure we get it right. 83 plus 92 plus 94 plus 85. So we have 354 plus t over 5 equals 90. Ah, get rid of the fraction, times both sides by 5. We have 354 plus t equals 450. Subtract 354 from both sides, 
minus 354, and t is 96. So he has to get 96 on his fifth test for his average to go up to 90. Excellent. Number 17, 45 is what percent, that's x, of 39? Oh, look, we have an equation. How do we solve it? Divide both sides by 39. So we get x equals 45 divided by 39 is 1.15, which is 115%. Hmm, maybe we should get just a little bit of 115.4%. Oh, there we go. Get the decimal place in there before we round. All right, number 18. 25 is 44%. Change that, move the decimal one, two places there. Um, so 0.44 per of what? And there's our x. And we can solve this. Yeah, we know. This is an equation we know how to solve. Divide both sides by 0.44. Divide both sides by 0.44. And calculator. 25 divided by 0.44 is 56.82. Good. And number 19, last one. What is... 59% of 2,340. Oh, and look at this. This isn't even an algebra problem. We just need to know what that is. And you can see that in the equation. We don't need to solve for x. So we get 0 0.59 times 2,340. And we get 1,380.6. 1380.6. Excellent.